Hey y'all, and thank you for tuning in to Divine Feminine Tarot Tea, okay? If you like what you see, please do go ahead, like it, share it, subscribe it, okay? Do not be afraid to go ahead, come on through here, hit that bell. If you want to be here every single time, me and the tea team are up in here getting it in with all of these good old tarot messages, okay? If you would like a personal reading from me, please go ahead and hit me up at dftarotea at gmail.com. Also, if you would like to make a little love offering to this channel, DF Tarot T at Cash App and at PayPal. Also, okay, if you would just like to share a little tea with me, DFT Box at gmail.com. Y'all, let's go ahead and jump into it. Baby, I don't know what's going on out here in the collective today. I ain't even gonna hold you because I don't know. Okay. But we're about to go ahead and look into it. Look, see what's tea, what's going on. Okay. Spirit, we are seeking clarity. Please show us what is occurring. Okay, in the spirit realm for the collective at this time. In love, okay, on this day, this May, Taurus season. I think y'all still out there. Bo, 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 okay. Bow, 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 bow. That's what y'all be on, right? Okay. <laughs> the Black Madonna, sacred dark goddess mother. We are seeing dark feminine energy coming out to greet us right away. We see Black Moon Lilith in Libra, okay? You deserve balance. Somebody out there, you are seeking justice, sister. You are in Black Madonna energy, okay? You are coming through. You are resurrecting. You have been giving the energy of the divine, dark divine mother, okay? Um, and then we see Black Moon Lilith in Capricorn. Um, somebody is looking to elevate. Okay, elevation is coming through. Justice and elevation in the collective. For the Black Madonna, um, the Black Madonna, let's talk about the Black Demo De Madonna, often disputed. Um, you know, people try to say she doesn't even exist. People try to say it's a myth. They try to discredit all of the different um, apparitions and statues in any depiction of the Black Madonna. It's absolutely ridiculous. Um, the sacred dark goddess mother, yes, indeedy, okay? We are seeing it come through. There is a constant energy around the dark goddess mother, okay? That speaks to um, some level of, there is always some level of rejection, some level of exile, you know, um, around melanated people, but the psyche of many women in general, right? There is, um, if you are a wild woman, if you are an outspoken woman, a free woman, a woman who is not automatically giving herself over to masculinity, you are often going through various crucifixions, if you ask me, okay, spiritually. But we see elevation of this energy coming through, okay? We see elevation of this energy coming through the collective, okay? So we do see an elevation coming. We do see justice coming, okay, for the Black Madonna energy in the collective, okay? Patience and maturity. Somebody, you have sat and waited, and spirit is very pleased with you. Somebody, you sat and you waited to see, you know, when your day was coming. You didn't step on anybody's toes. You didn't do anything, uh, anything dirty to anyone else. We see vast energy coming through, okay? Independent. Something good is coming to you. Somebody has been so patient. You've been patient through stress, through anxiety, through shifts in your moods and who you are. And you still sat patiently waiting on spirit, okay? Because you knew that it was up to spirit what was coming next for you. You waited for clarity, okay? July is going to be a very special month for you, okay? Because you waited for clarity, um, there's a gift coming for your obedience. There's a gift coming for the fact that you knew that God, that you knew that God is, was the answer to what you were going through. Okay. We see the butterfly. Okay. Your relationship with the divine is evolving. Okay. We see soulmate energy that is around you. Okay. Prior to this, you were in a lot of drama, but you maintained your grace and your sweetness. You maintained your mystery. You maintained your poise. You maintained your well-spokenness while others around you were bringing drama. There was some drama, okay, around whoever your soulmate energy was. There was a karmic feminine energy. Somebody was jealous. Somebody was upset. Somebody was feeling like it wasn't supposed to be your time. When you initially started to connect with this person, somebody pointed out whatever the negative was, okay? Somebody jumped into hell. Hello, the tinfoil hat, baby. Somebody jumped out the gate with a million conspiracies and was like, well, didn't he used to, uh, they just pulled some shit. Didn't he used to shit? Didn't he used somebody just pulled some shit out their ass, whatever they had to do to try to be a wet blanket on your good thing. But we're not doing any of that. Okay. Baby elevated. You about to step into legendary status. Okay. You about to step into legendary status. 
Some of it is going to start with your self-care ritual. Somebody's about to start taking such good care of themselves. Girl, black Madonna girl, black Madonna girl. Somebody about to start taking such good care of themselves is literally about to bring the haters out. You heard me. Somebody about to start taking such good care of themselves is legit about to bring the haters out. Bring them out. Bring it out. Okay? Hey, bring them out. Somebody is literally about to start. How you start taking such good care? How people hate on you taking care of yourself, sis? Straight like that. How they hating on you loving you? That's the society we in right now, though. Straight up. They hating on you loving you, okay? Conscious consumer. They hating on the fact that somebody's going to begin to become conscious, conscious about what they do. You're becoming conscious about what you put into your body, what you wear, how you take care of yourself, how you walk, how you talk. Okay, somebody is not taking good care of themselves. This karmic feminine energy, and when you start to do so for you, she's gonna be upset. When this soulmate starts circling the perimeter, I'm telling you, she started immediately like, "Well, are you sure?" And somebody started hating out the gate. The Lord is righteous in all His ways and loving toward all He has made. Psalm 145 and 17. When I left the womb, you cradled me. Since the moment of birth, you've been my God. Psalm 22 and 10, okay? You stay faithful to God. Keep those Psalms close to you, okay? Because the journey, what I'm hearing is just getting started, okay? It's a shift that has come through. You're about to step into a whole new world, okay? We see the world card coming through the building. You're about to step into a whole new world. There is a masculine coming through with you. We see sun card energy. This masculine is bringing with him happiness and well-being. He is shining a light. That is something that you find. I'm, I'm, I'm just feeling warm. This man may kind of also help you cultivate your own warmth, your own brightness. Um, somebody has felt like they were kind of outcasted or shrouded. Maybe in your family, maybe in your romantic life, whatever the case may have been, this masculine is coming in and he's going to kind of help you to heal and see yourself in a new way. Okay. Uncompromising. Think about being fair and working in harmony with another person. Okay. You're going to do this with this masculine, but that's not the energy that I'm getting from this card. You want to be uncompromising because as you step into this elevated status, as you step into legendary status, okay. A lot of it has to do with your new presentation. A lot of it has to do with this new masculine that is behind you because it's going to show the shift in your aura, right? When, we, when we've when we been elevated spiritually, we come off differently in the earth realm. When we feel better about ourselves because of a spiritual elevation, we treat ourselves better. We're eating better foods. You're going to be doing all of those things and your spirit is going to start to glow, okay? Just let your soul glow, baby. Just let it shine through okay soul glow so, y'all know the song okay and as your soul comes through and begins to glow you are going to start to feel the the moths y'all i don't know if y'all saw in that last video we had a moth fly through here and get his ass handed to him yes i did have to take him out Okay, and that is kind of the energy that y'all gonna have to be giving to these haters, okay? When they come through here, flying through here, disturbing the, the gods, you know, and, and, and you know, I ain't bragging because, you know, no life should be taken, you know, insect or otherwise, you know, unless it's fucking with you. I'm just saying. So, be very uncompromising in how you present yourself, Okay. That is going to be part of your elevated status. That is going to be part of you stepping into your God status, your God role, yourself. You are not tucking your head. You're not apologizing. You're going to be meeting your haters head on with excellence. That is what a legend does. That is what happens when you're in an uncompromising energy. That is what elevation looks like. You are going to stand firmly in exactly who you are. Okay, Capricorn energy. You're going to be resourceful enough and earthy and grounded enough to create the environment around yourself that's needed to elevate you. Do not let anybody step on that, period. Great is our Lord. His understanding is infinite. Psalm 147 and 5. The Lord sustains the humble. Psalm 147 and 6. Okay? Butterflies played in her hair. Understand it. Transformation is coming to the crown of your head, down to the sole of your feet. Love is coming to the crown of your head, to the sole of your feet. You are being kissed on your head by goddess. Respect it, expect it, receive it. Because it's a lot of people that's going to try to make you think, oh, you know, this shouldn't be, you need to focus on this. No, you need to focus on exactly where, where you're being placed at this time. 
Focus on yourself. What did I just say? Practice self-care and redirect your energy to yourself because this is where all of the love and all of the energy is going to come through, from, and to, okay? Each day, the Lord pours his unfailing love upon me, and through each night, I sing his songs. His song, Psalm 42 and 8, okay? What do we just say? May the Lord give you the desire of your heart and make all your plans succeed. Psalm 20 and 4. Again, this is a new season, okay? This is a whole new season. And this is what's in the collective right now, y'all. So embrace it. Okay? Embrace it. That's where we at. That's what we own. Okay? We see salvations. We see purify. We see cleanse. And we see release. Okay? Coming through. Um, again, self-love. Self-care. Same energy, right? Y'all know I have, to, I have to decide how I want my cars to lay. Okay? Um, Self-love, okay? Focusing on oneself, okay? Black Moon Lilith in Taurus. Taurus season, okay? You are worthy. Understand that you are worthy of this because I'm telling you, we're, we're driving this point home because of some people out there that they finna really come at your head about trying to make you feel like this is not what you got coming to you, but it is. Remember the Black Madonna energy. We got to just go back and revisit that for one quick second. What did we just talk about with that? There are so many, and if anybody wants to research and look into this, feel free to do so, okay? There's always been the dispute that the Black Madonna really exists, that that energy is really there, that that frequency is really there. There's always that dispute of whether or not there's apparitions of, of such, whether or not it's real, et cetera, et cetera, whether or not those um, leftover statues and, and pieces that represent the Black Madonna are really there. This is the energy that is going to come to you as you elevate, this is the energy that is going to greet you when you elevate, as you elevate yourself. Is it really real? Could it be? Should it be? Is it? Nah. This is the energy that's about to come towards you. They're going to try to deny you. Okay? They're going to try to... It's, the, it's, the, it's what happens anytime, anywhere, any space around any type of Christ consciousness, right? They're about to start trying to deny you, question you. Is it really real? You know, I don't really believe in her blessings. Mary Magdalene, divine, loyal goddess. You are going to find out exactly what, who's around you, who's a divine masculine and who's a divine feminine. You're going to find out who your real friends are based on their loyalty, based on whether or not they are like, yo, I'm still here. I'm still following. I'm still rocking with you in your, your elevated season. Okay. But you got some comics, baby. They finna fall off. Many of them are going to jump into, like I said, conspiracy. You know, you must have had a BBL. No, baby. We just on the treadmill. It ain't all that. Oh, so-and-so is on Ozempic. No, we just eat more few fruits and vegetables. Baby, I believe she been on one of them apps. That's where she getting that extra money from. No, boo. Business just took off. She must be paying his bills. That's the reason he back talking her. Nope, he's paying my bills. Okay, it's about to be all that type of tea. Okay, Queen Jezebel, magnetic royal witch. And so they're going to come with that. Then they're going to start trying to, they're going to, I'm going to tell you something. I ain't, you know, y'all say what y'all want to. Jezebel can be spoken of in the sense of narcissistic energy, of course. We know how the church talks about Jezebel, but Jezebel was running shit and she was a woman, okay? You have to keep that in mind as well. And there's, there's a lot of masculine energies that just felt that Ahab was just a bitch. Yes, we know that these, where these spirits fit in biblically, okay? But we're talking about, we're going to take it, we're going to take it into a more Gnostic space for one moment. And we know how people talk shit. You know, Ahab wasn't this and that. Jezebel was running him, woo why? They didn't respect that. They didn't res respect Jezebel's gangster. You know, they Jezebel, they were eaten by dogs. It just, it just all went for bad. But there was a lot of jealousy because Jezebel chose what God that she wanted to worship. Jezebel was running shit. Jezebel was causing hell. Okay, Jezebel had a lot of power at that particular time, regardless of how we feel about what she chose to do with the power. Okay, and so at that point, there was a lot of persecution and inquisition surrounding Jezebel at that time and her relationship with Ahab still to this day. So when we pull Queen Jezebel 
Understand that your authority, because I'm hearing somebody else is also about to step into high authority. Your authority is about to come into question. Your control and ability to, to steer your life. Somebody has been controlling and steering their life so keenly under the covers. People really didn't realize how hard you have been working on the business or how much you have been putting into yourself or your kids or your body, etc. And they're about to see the results and they, they're not going to want to give you credit. So now it's going to be like, they're throwing the witch hunt energy at you. They're persecuting you. You must, something you must have did. You, you must, that man over there, he probably letting your boss him around. They're just going to try to do whatever they can do to try to create some confusion. Okay. And make you feel like less than. So somebody, I'm telling you, prepare yourself because they about to come with the shits. Okay. Because you're stepping into your season of excellence. Okay. Dark divine mother of creation. Know that you are standing in such authority. There's literally going to be nothing. There's going to be nothing that can be done that can stop the train that is you at this particular time. Um, so stand in this, you know, don't, don't even make a big thing about it. Um, they're just talking baby podcast energy on the blah, blah, blah. People just talking shit. Um, a lot of these people are going to find themselves in their shadow selves as a result of how well you're doing. And just let them know to stay in their lane, okay? We're not even finna tolerate that shit right now. That's not that's not what the collective is doing. Um, they're going to have to stay in their lane. Some of these people may try to trauma bond themselves to you by making you feel like you have to validate your success off of them. Yes, you're doing well. Yes, you're in this new relationship. Yes, you are more beautiful than you've been in the last eight years. But I feel like you still don't know how to dress. So now you're supposed to be, red flag on the bottom of the deck. Now you're supposed to be validating yourself. You're in a new position, but if I tell you you can't dress, if I tell you your man is a simp in Mohab, I'm sorry, Ahab, Ahab energy. Okay, who was Mohab? Was that who was after Moby Dick? Okay, so they hunting you. I do believe, was that Mohab that was after Moby Dick? Um, Ahab, somebody tell me in the comments if it was. Okay, Ahab energy, now they're going to try to stick you with that. Your man is simp. You need to validate yourself. Prove to me that your man ain't weak. Prove to me that you getting this money. Prove to me that you, prove to me that you know how to dress. Prove, you know, people try, they play these games. Do not fall into it because there are going to be this vampiric energy. They're going to try to suck the energy away from you. I'm telling you at this time, you're really going to have to learn how to stare your enemies in the face. You're really going to have to learn how to understand the challenges that are coming towards you at this time are ancient challenges, ancient demons that are really challenging the validity of the black Madonna feminine energy. It is about you, but it's actually not about you at all. You have to understand sometimes in the collective, in the divine feminine, there are energies that have been hunting the divine feminine, the dark divine feminine since before any of us can even dream of our ancestors or any of that. Okay. These, these things be ancient you know, and once we have the blessings of, the kiss of, the embodiment of certain gods, goddesses, the, the ultimate God, supreme God, the most high, you know, goddess, however you do it, okay, there are those that are going to just immediately oppose you and come against you, okay? So, be on your P's and Q's because your time is coming, okay? Some of y'all also have a lot of fairy energy. OK, you're going to really be in a position to be empathetic and kind of bring beautiful energy around you. OK, and really glow. You're going to meet some other fairy energy, some other people that share your empathetic nature and sweetness. OK, so that's going to be a blessing. for. And the, many of y'all that are going to see this, I'm hearing air signs, the Libras, the Aquarius, the, the Geminis. OK, we didn't pull self-care again. I'm telling you, it is your self-care that's going to shift your whole Everything that's happening to you is going to change once you step into this space of self-care. It's really going to shift everything. Like, this is where you're going to really see who people are, who's who, and what's what. Um, as far as this relationship, okay, it's, that's coming. The soulmate relationship, I don't want to say that's coming because someone is already there. Okay, and the hate has already begun, but I heard this person is circling. Okay, they're circling. So, whatever is going on in y'all's relationship, y'all are still building. 
things are not solid yet and you have people around you that are, are hoping that it never becomes solid. That's where that tinfoil hat energy is coming from. These are people that want to create conspiracies around the Black Madonna energy. Again, I tell y'all, so many of these things y'all have to be aware. It is still witch hunt energy. That's really what it boils down to. These are people that are looking at you and they are still jealous of who you are, what you are, what you have going on. A lot of this is still witch hunt energy. You know, when they see a woman that's in an elevated space that has the truth or has clarity about her, has God energy about her, you know, some things never change. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and see here. Tell me something about this masculine, this soulmate energy, okay, that is around you, that they hating on you for, girl, okay? They hating on you. The magician, strength, justice, okay? This is a man that they would hate on, baby, because this man knows how to handle business. Uh, he's a magician, so he has many things that he's able to present. In order to ensure that things go correctly, he's also very protective, but he's protective in a gentle way. This man will try to protect you with his knowledge. He's a man that knows a lot and he will try to focus on helping you in terms of setting you up with knowledge. You know, are you aware of everything you need to be aware of before you go where you're going to going tomorrow? Can I advise you on what you should do next? Is there something that I can do to support you in this? I know somebody that does that. Do you need me to reach out to them? Okay, it's that type of energy. This man is very strong of mind. He may also have heavy air sign influences. Again, air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, okay? He may have some heavy air sign influences, influences himself. We also see this justice energy that's coming through the building, okay? So we see this justice energy here. Um, there is a certain level of balance that this man will bring to your life in terms of keeping things righteous. This is definitely a divine masculine energy because he is one that promotes righteousness in your life. Um, we take a peek into your energy, okay? Coming under this Black Madonna energy, okay? We also see in you, okay? We see, y'all got to cover this one up, okay? It's got a lot going on. The Chariot, okay? I'm just going to show y'all that one, a little free Kalo art. We see the tower and we see the wheel of fortune. Serious dark feminine energy, okay? You bring with you a great deal of momentum, okay? You bring with you the ability to really rock, shift, and change the things around you without question. You're a very powerful force. You also have the ability to shift fortunes. Now, I'm going to tell you, some of y'all don't know this about yourself. But the ability to shift fortunes with what you say, with what you do. Some of y'all can pray things into existence. Um, you may be somebody that really may find it beneficial to go into places, places, places of public worship or public prayer. Okay, whether that's a church, whether it's a sisterhood that you're a part of, it could be a Catholic church. You would do well to go into places of corporate prayer so that you can really kind of get in that energy and send your prayers up. Okay, also the things you say and visualization are very powerful tools for you. So together with this man that is a man of righteousness, is a man of knowledge, that is a man of, of, of um, high ranking, you know, I can help you, I can support you, I am a good guide and advisor. You are also somebody that is very powerful in the earth realm. So together you two make a very good force on your side. I'm seeing it may be probable that you are more likely a Taurus Capricorn. Da, da, da. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries, a fire or earth sign, or these things may be prominent in your energy. On his sign, we are getting more air or water. Again, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer energy on his side. So there is a, a nice balance. You two may have a lot of these in your charts either way. So there's a lot of elemental balance there, you know, north, south, east, west, earth, fire, air, water in y'all's charts and this really makes for a nice a nice mix and a nice space okay for y'all to really be like a major force um you two are really able to get things done together okay 
Again, this is in the collective. This is someone that is coming. Also, we did say there were going to be some blessings and high energy coming in Taurus season. We are in Taurus season. Whoever has some blessings and high energy going on in this here Taurus season, please do not be afraid to share it with us over here at Deaf Tarot T. Okay, and put it in the comment section. This man is one that has a very good head upon his shoulders. A lot of mercury energy, communication, and truth. What did I just tell y'all? Two plus four, this card is 24. Equals six also brings us into a place of harmony. So um, even where there are imperfections, imperfections in this man, he seeks harmony. Mercury brings us back to air sign energy. Mercury also brings us to Herm Hermes. Lord have mercy. Why I can't talk today. Also, also brings us to uh, Hermes energy. Okay. And we know that Hermes is, is about communication. He brings messages, brings them swiftly, brings them quickly thinks lightning speed, uh, moves at lightning speed, okay? So this man's mind, this man has got an excellent mind. I'm hearing actually military mind. He's very good with plans, with strategy, with moving things from here to there, okay? So if you ever need guidance and you need somebody that can kind of help you create your plans, be a strategic thinker, help you with strategic objectives, okay? This is somebody that is very good in strategic management. He may actually be in strategic management, um, or in logistics or something of that effect in his life um, because he is very gifted in that, like God gifted in that particular area, okay? Just something for you to know. Okay, the phoenix, death and rebirth. Once again, high dark feminine energy on your side. You are the one that comes through and shakes it up with your words, with your energy, with your emotions. You are capable of truly monopolizing a room, monopol monopolizing a family in the most positive way through transformation and high fire energy, okay? You are somebody that may also find that you have a good relationship with fire, okay? Y'all have heard me speak about fire, which energy on this channel. If you have not, it's some videos. If you scroll, scroll, scroll down a bit, there are some videos, I want to say, from the month of March or April um, that speak to transformation and the ability to really light it up um you and this masculine together y'all are a great blend y'all bring great balance to one another and it is powerful and it is going to have quite an effect on some of the people around y'all okay i'm hearing you may have an ex that this has some effect on okay I'm telling you, the better you, and you're also taking better care of yourself by lining yourself up with this particular masculine here, okay? This is all self-care. It's all about the moment that you really realize who you are and start treating yourself like, you know, you are her. This is the moment, okay, that you see the shift in your reception, how you're received from those around you who have not quite figured out how to do those things yet, Okay? We see karmic ties. Did I not just tell you one of your exes is going to get salty? Okay. Somebody is about to get salty. Um, know something about this person, though. This person may be somebody that is in a bad situation. Um, they may be depressed. They may be miserable. They may actually be, you know, headed for something that, or thinking they're headed towards. This person is depressed, okay? They might think they're headed towards the grave. Somebody is depressed. Somebody is down. They're an ex of yours. They're looking at you now. When they see your glow up, when they see you kind of going into this powerful space that nobody, I'm telling you this, thank you, Spirit, nobody around you is going to understand how you got to this space. They're like, when did she start looking like that? When did she get that fashion sense? When did she start wearing Giuseppe's? Okay, when did she start being able to make her own crochet fits? I didn't know her hair had grew that long. You're not going to know because everything that was going on with you was coming from divine energy through divine energy because you were really putting the time into God and into yourself. They ain't know about that. Okay, you're also one of mystery we saw with that uh, Black Madonna energy. You're not one to sit around and tell everybody what you're working on. This period, that ain't you. Okay, now this person sees you in this glow up. They see how much has changed in you, even though they can't quite put their finger on it. And now this person is upset. They're saying, why didn't I pop the question? 
okay? Why didn't I go to her when I had the chance to, okay? So this person is going to be upset now, and this person is going to start to try to launch into kind of a possessive space, feeling like they have the right to text you or call you and say, well, what the hell? Why you ain't with me? And, and, and just a bunch of foolishness, okay? From an ex that really just sees what he missed out on because this, this Black Madonna energy, this beautiful, deep, you know, wild, free energy is going to become so prominent and so well defined. And you're going to be so beautiful and shining and gleaming in it in deep feminine energy. Okay. And power this somebody, you know, he can't take it. Okay. He's under pressure. He's like, I fucked up. What did I do? Okay. This is somebody that might actually try to resort to spell work. Or getting what I'm hearing, getting a female friend of theirs. Like, you know, can you do a love spell for me? Paying for a love spell. Paying for somebody to try to do some type of candle work. Baby, that's not going to work on you. This man is going to do work or have someone do work. The person that does work on him is some does work for him and on his behalf. It's someone that he's going to find himself in a chaotic energy with. He's going to find himself in a volatile situation with that person. This situation will never even get to you because him and his witch are going to fall out. This may also be an ex of his, okay? He is asking her to do work on another woman and he's going to create a cycle in her. Um, this man is going to kind of fall prey to, that might be what get his ass up out of here. This man is going to fall prey to um, he's going to fall on his own sword to make a long story short, but know that there is an ex in the background that is going to find himself obsessed with why he didn't know that you were who you were. He didn't know you were who you were because he ain't shit and you weren't on the same frequency as, as him and that's why your relationship is over. So you may get some bad news about this ex at some point. Um, and it may not be news that you want to hear. Okay. But you're already out of this person's life. But just so you know, your glow up is going to really have an effect. I mean, an effect that like is going to ricochet, um, and it's really going to put quite a few people in their feelings. Um, you know, this is something coming through the collective this year. And it's, it's just ridiculous that people get this upset. Okay. We see journey. We see thief. We see gift. Okay. And we see hope. Okay. You went through a period in your life where along this journey, you really were feeling like some things were stolen from you. And God is saying to you right now, the most high is saying to you, you know, everything that the canker worm stole is being returned to, returned to you tenfold once again, based upon your hope and the fact that no what, the fact that no matter what, you remained loyal to your, your faith in God, okay? You never felt like, you know what, just forget it. I'm going to abandon my faith. You know, it kind of brings us back to the story of Job. Thank you, Spirit. You never allowed yourself to fall into um, the temptations of demonic energy. Um, as did many of those that are around you, okay? They made the mistake of falling into those spaces. Uh, we see palm tree. We see stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, flexibility. That is four of wands energy. You have some really great things coming to you from this masculine. That masculine is a hermit energy, okay? This is your divine masculine. He is a hermit energy. He is a sage. He is a wise man. He is somebody who himself may be a spiritual man or even a spiritual master in a past life. He has a lot of divine wisdom, okay? We know that. Be willing to forgive. Forgive those around you, okay? Forgive them for they know not what they do. Be willing to forgive them because you're about to quickly be, you know, elevated spiritually, okay? And it's going to leave these people feeling a certain way. Um, you're going to be in peace, though, though, during this time that these people are feeling like shit because you out here shining, okay? Organize for success. Many of you need to take this time now to begin now to organize. And I'm telling you to organize for your self-care. Make sure you're setting aside the proper workout time. Make sure you're pre-planning those meals. Make sure you're setting aside time for prayer. Make sure you're setting aside time to get the right sleep because what you want to do is make sure that you're being as consistent as possible, okay? Love call, baby. You're going to be getting when love calls your name, okay? You're going to be getting those calls from this masculine. 
okay and you want to make sure you're being forthright and beautiful and open with him because you guys want your situation to move towards success okay this is a time of rebirth and new beginnings but i'm going to tell you right now sister y'all see this daffodil narcissist energy here on this card do not get obsessed with your own reflection and become vain and become somebody that's allowing demonic third-party influences to get to you and, and mess with your relationship because you finna be looking good Okay, you finna be look good. Okay, and they're about to be mad, big mad, in fact. And do not allow vanity. You know, men are gonna start offering you this, that, and the third. These other partners, other women, people want to offer you. Don't allow this to affect the blessing that God has given you. Okay, my eye, God is calling you to stay in a spirit of justice and fairness. Stay grounded. As you begin to elevate, remain grounded. Do not allow yourself to fall prey to the idea that, oh, now that I look like this, no. Okay, so you have big, happy changes coming. You just want to make sure that you stay in, in the place that God has for you. I have loved you even as the Father has loved me. Remain in my love. John 15 and 9. I can't make it no clearer than that. Make sure you are staying close to God as you move into this elevated space. Okay. Also avoid those that may come around you digging for gold. Because that not only are you going to look more beautiful, you're going to be spiritually more beautiful. But also you're going to have more to give away in terms of money. Okay. Vacation. Yeah. All that type of tea, baby. This man's going to be like, yo, let's go out of town. Let's do us. Okay, and know that, again, we saw what you got, that ex and these types of fools is trying to come back your way. You won't be there, baby. You're going to be on a vacation when these people are trying to send you messages and you over that. Okay, you're going to hold another space. Okay, a space of positive thoughts. Some of y'all make sure you start listening to or continue to listen to prayers or positive affirmations. Okay. Um, also, Hathor, receptivity, be careful what you let in, okay, as you receive feminine energy, Hathor energy is very feminine, okay, as you are in Black Madonna energy and you are a wilder spirit, you know, you're moving, you're shaking, you're very transformational, because you have such a, a, um, a spirit that is so full of momentum, as we saw with the chariot, do not allow yourself to take in too much negative energy because when things get into you, they will spread because you, you have a very transformative fire energy. And we know fire spreads things, okay? So, and destroys things, okay? So, you with negative energy is not good. You can be extremely destructive to yourself and the ones around you. So, really try to stay away from negative energy because you have a lot of feminine energy and you take in a lot fast, okay? Make sure that you are also... Eating right. Don't allow too many things to get in that could be nasty for your sacral chakra. So, you know, chemicals, things like that, you know, eating poorly. You want to try to get away from that. Not getting sleep. Also, you may have up to five people that try to come in and talk about, oh, we're friends. Baby, no, we're not. Don't fall for it, okay? Don't fall for it. Five of source energy. These people will betray you. They will also try to cause third-party interference in your relationship do not fall for it. Okay, that card a little racy, so we're going to turn it over. Do not fall for it because you two be cutting up. Nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God, period. Stick to God, Romans 8 and 39. Knight of Pentacles, okay? There is an offering coming from this masculine soon. It will not be um, the biggest offering he'll make you, but he is going to make you an offering Two of Cups energy, you got to turn this one over before Two of Cups for a serious relationship. That is coming soon. Also, this man is quite sexually dominant. I'm going to turn that card over, Knight of Swords, okay? Just so you know, he is sexually dominant. Um, you're going to lose. I'm not even going to say lose. You're going to cut off some losers um, as they see you step into this sword and rose clarity. Ace of Swords energy with this masculine because they're going to want to get into Seven of Swords energy with you, okay? The snake, and you, you're not doing that. The Lord watches over all who love him, Psalm 145 and 20. And it is your time of prosperity, you know, as I have said, okay? It's time, okay? I'm telling you, stepping into your legend status, stepping into your season, so much of this coming from self-care, Okay, Eve, divine feminine awakening, period. You're in this time of awakening. And I'm telling you, liberate your truth. Black moon, Lilith, and Gemini. 
you're liberating yourself. You're stepping into your awakening, okay? And you have your divine masculine by your side, sun card energy, your soul's purpose, okay? And everybody just really is not ready for it. And we do not care, okay? You've been doing the energy work. You have not been sitting around worried about who, worried about what. You have sat and, sat and done your energy work and done what you had to do for you. And that is why you're seeing the benefits of what you're seeing the benefits of right now. She-wolf energy, okay? You have unleashed your she-wolf within months ago, maybe even years ago. And this is why you had a lot of people around you that were kind of rooting for you to fail. Whether you knew it or not, it was because you were flying by the seat of your, uh, your you flying by the seat of your own coattails. <laughs> child or something like that y'all know what i'm trying to say you were doing your own thing you were very unique you were very different um and because of this okay you had a lot of people around you that were hating they didn't want to see you win because if you could win and they doing what they things exactly in a carbon copy type of way they weren't brave enough to stand in their their wild woman energy if you could win then that just means that they really don't have to be doing what they're doing, okay? Somebody followed their own path and won. Some people can't handle that. Magic guardian, okay? Your magic within has been unlocked. You have been walking in it. You have made no apologies for it, okay? And because of this, you have been able to move into a healed heart because of the power of, once again, your self-love, okay? Look for fairies. I done told y'all. Some of y'all got some really sweet feminine energies coming your way to be friends with. Okay, some really sweet women are coming your way, are headed, are headed your way. Okay. Bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. I told y'all the man got a lot of air sign energy. I can't make it up, okay? Dream journal. Some of y'all, this is going to be a great way for you to kind of keep up with and move through this situation. Journal your dreams, anything that comes to you as a, as a form of self-care. Anything that spirit is giving you in prayer, whatever the case may be, do not be afraid to journal that down. Okay. You did not dim down to fit in. I just told y'all don't dim to fit in. You did not dim down to fit in. And because of this, you're kind of upsetting the frequency of the people that did. And that is where a lot of your karmic haters are coming from. People that are pissed off that they've been pretending to be somebody they not, and they still a loser. And you've been exactly who you was called to be by God and Look what it did for you. Okay. Answer the call, baby. Answer the call. Your soul was calling out to you. God was calling out to you to be who you were called to be. And you've been that. Okay. So you're going to be a bit of a mirror to some of these people that kind of feel like they haven't been who they were supposed to be. Um, you know, and that's their fault and their problem and their bitterness and their issue to solve. So I'm just really driving this point home. Spirit is really giving me because you're going to have to be prepared for the bullshit. Somebody is going to take it personally. Do not take it personally. Again, you know, you're just moving into a higher energy. Um, your intelligence and mental beauty are about to shine through at an extremely high level as well. And it's some folks who are just going to have to get, get ready for that. Okay, so look for the sign. Let this be your sign, actually, I'm hearing. Let this reading be a sign. Let this be a sign from the oracle, okay? This season has begun for you. Um, when you start to see the pushback, when you start to see the resentment, when you start to see the hate because you stood and did not back down, <laughs> From the enemy because you were willing to take that divinely guided chance that they were not willing to take divinely guided chance what else can i i can't get no clearer than that because you were willing to stand in that divinely guided chance okay because you had the parents that you had that whether it was by you learning through what they didn't do or by you learning through all the love they put into you you were prepared to step into a divinely guided chance okay people can be mad all they want to be Okay, God said yes. And if God is for you, who dare be against you? 
You have luck on your side. You have the union of God on your side. You have positive energy on your side. You have feminine energy on your side. There's the moon. So this is your time, feminine. Okay, this is your season. Whoever don't like it. Okay, you've been in an abundance mindset. You do have new loyal friends that will be coming to you. Understand there's also some indigo in energy that's coming towards you. Um, in that energy, those that are highly sensitive, those that are empathetic, those that are already where you're elevated to right now. You're going to move towards people that are already in that energy. Those that can also be guides to you. Okay, you're going to be guided to these people kind of in a renewal space, in your renewed space, in your kind of north wind space. Everything's renewed. Everything's changing, changing. Everything's bright. You're going to be pulled towards kind of a northern star kind of energy. OK, in fact, I'm hearing that this person may be one woman in particular that's really going to be um, a good friend to you and your mate. Like she has a divine masculine mate and you guys are going to be able to really be like a powerful group of just spiritual networking, things like that. OK, high priestess. This woman that, you, that is coming, this friend that is coming towards you, this is like a, 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 I'm hearing Northern Star, okay, High Priestess, okay? This woman may have ties to a, a, a spiritual a spiritual group, okay, of people that you can fellowship with, okay? You guys may actually even be able to start like a spiritual book reading group or um, even a Bible study group or a Quran or, um, you know, whatever um your chosen religion is okay if it's religion or if it's just spirituality you will be able to partner with this woman and you guys will really be able to make things move because god is really about to take you into like highly divine circles and people you're about to really lose a lot of karmic energies that you didn't even really quite know were karmics until you stepped into this new space okay two of pentacles energy yeah, you are really about to step into a new space. Um, those that were undecided about you are literally going to be lusting after you, lusting after your energy like vampires. They are not going to know what to do. You are being moved, sis, very swiftly, okay? You may find that you are suddenly even have the urge to like shut down your Facebook page and start a new one. You ain't even going to let them other fools on the new one, okay? It's just like... A whole new space is coming, a renewal or rejuvenation, okay? And be thankful for understanding because you had some people in your past that really helped you understand spirituality and move you forward, okay? We see this emperor energy coming. This masculine that you have is not going to let anything happen to you, period, page of cups, okay? There are some around you that, like, they're going to be kicking themselves. It may not just be that one masculine, but I'm telling you, this page of cups, they have nothing on the emperor. They have nothing on that energy that you had, pre that you have with this divine masculine. Nothing. Gracious words are a honeycomb sweet to the soul and healing to the bones. Proverbs 16 and 24. Okay, so you are being elevated to a different friend group. Six of pentacles. Okay, this car is a little racy. Got to cover it up. This is um, six of pentacles. These people are going to be givers. Okay, they're going to do more for you. Okay, they're going to help take you into another space, Will of Fortune Energy. Okay, God will generously provide all that you need, 2 Corinthians 9 and 8. Okay, you will be taken care of even in the difficult times by your staff. Your staff is held by that divine mask and he will hold you down, okay, spiritually and otherwise. Because you are his high priestess and nobody's going to be able to tell him any differently, okay? manifestation you are about to manifest things that you've been dreaming of your wildest dreams in fact okay and they're going to come to you pure through and from god um and you don't have anything to worry about because what what god gives is yours okay we saw that yes energy is all over you and to your friends that's hating baby if they hate then let them hate and watch the money pile up okay if you have enjoyed this Divine Feminine Tarot Tea. Please go ahead, like, share, subscribe, okay? Do not be afraid to go ahead, come through, hit that bell. 
If you want to be here every single time, me and the tea team are up in here getting it in with all of these good old tarot messages. And if you like what you see over here at DF Tarot Tea, do not be afraid to step out to me for a reading at dftarot at gmail.com. Also, if y'all would like to buy me a little piece of cheese, I keep telling y'all I love cheese. Okay, just a little bit of breathe. Just somebody put a little honey, you little honey too, little crack, a little, little walnut or something. Okay, go ahead and hit me up at DF Tarot T at Cash App or at PayPal, just a little cheese money. Okay, and as always, I will catch y'all in the next one.